Well, now I'm not, obviously. That's great. A star has fallen right in our village. Let's run over and see it right away. Tina, stars don't fall. Meteorites do. And they burn up in the air. <sighs> we won't find anything. Did you make that up because you're sleepy? No, of course not. <sighs> well, if you're not sleepy, get your stuff together already, Tina, is it? No need to. I wonder if it's a big one, and what are we going to carry it in? Oh, and Tony, where should we hang it? In the park, maybe? <laughs> or maybe we should share it, give everyone a little bit. Are you still packing? This is a serious expedition, Tina. We'll need spare batteries. Well, then I guess someone else will find our star. While Tony's rummaging around, I'll run and fetch the star, then come back. Just in case it really is hot. Now we've got enough batteries to last us a while. Tina? Tina! <laughs> Oh, Piglet, it's you. What are you doing sitting outside? That's a very good question. No laughing at night. But snoring, well, that's another thing altogether. So I'm on an important mission. I'm off to catch a star. But now I don't know where to look. Oh, no. Don't you stop here. No. I'm talking to my headlamp. Here it is. My star. Okay, Piglet. See ya. You said you were going Catch a star? Yep, just think. Soon I'll have the biggest flashlight in the world. Then you won't need that silly little one. The flashlight? Uh, sure. Here you go. Where are you going, star? Oh, so which of you is my star? Star, I'm just an ordinary hippo. Tony? Tina, where have you been? I looked everywhere for you. I was looking for the star, but I can't find it. <sighs> Most meteorites burn out in the atmosphere, although sometimes they do actually make it to Earth. But they don't shine and look just like ordinary raw. Tina, where do you find that rock? Oh, over in the park somewhere. Tina, it's a real-life meteorite. So this is my star, but it doesn't even shine. How boring is that? Tina, come on. This is proof that if you don't give up, you can find a star. Ah. Oh? Fifth take! Perfect! Oh! Oh, no, no! Wow! There's going to be a film at six? I'll definitely come, Tina. Of course you'll come, Tony. After all, we're filming it. We need to film it now? Oh, no, not now. First, we need to build a set, find costumes, and then we can start filming. Huh? <sighs> it didn't go on straight. Tina, you're worried about how straight the film poster is and the film doesn't even exist yet? You're right, Tony. If I spend too much time worrying about this one, I won't manage to put the rest of them up. You know what, Tina? Let's hide them before anyone can... Huh? <laughs> now we don't need to put them up. We can start filming. When Tina's in... Tony is, too. It 
It's going to be a fairy tale about a girl who meets her prince. How original. Thank you. The girl turned into a princess, went to a ball, lost her shoe there, and the prince found... The princess? No, the shoe. And they lived happily ever after. The prince and the shoe? The prince and the princess, of course. You're so slow sometimes, Tony. And I want there to be a carriage, too, that turns into... A pumpkin? Tony, you read my mind! No, I just read the fairy tale. How could you have read it if I've only just come up with it? Let's get started now! Lights! Camera! Action! Once upon a time, there lived a poor girl. Everyone went to the ball, but she was left at home to sort the peas from the beans. Oh. We know how difficult it is to sort peas. No need to thank us, Tina. I wasn't going to. Take two. The girl sorted all the peas and went to the ball. She was so pretty that she could be easily mistaken for a princess. After the ball, she was in such a rush that she lost her shoe. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? A princess shoe? Wow! Foxy, you don't happen to have a crown lying around too, do you? fall off my head, so I should be the princess. Lights! Camera! Action! The princess was in such a rush after the ball that she lost... ...lost... ...her shoe! By the time the prince ran out of the castle, the princess was long gone. Hey! What are you doing here? We're passers-by. What do you mean, passers-by? We're extras. Please clear the set. You're in the way of filming. <laughs> well, then, we can finally film in peace. But, Tina, it's time to show the film already. <laughs> It's better not to promise something if you're not sure that you can deliver. You're right, Tony. Promises have to be kept. Oh, how I want to turn into a pumpkin. She's here somewhere. <laughs> She's gone forever. My favorite doll is gone. My Mushka. <laughs> Don't cry, Tina. She's not gone. I'm sure she just went, uh, on a carriage. To where? To the magical doll place where all the toys go. You're making things up. Stop it. <laughs> it's true. I saw it myself. Yesterday, a carriage came. A golden one, and she got on. A carriage. Come on, let's go. Uh, go where? Where else? To find the golden carriage, silly. Hey, check this out. It definitely came from the carriage. Uh, okay, sure did. Definitely, Tina. Tony, look! The carriage came this way. These are the tracks, and this is the stuff. Sit. We'll wait for the carriage to come. Then we'll be on our way to see her. Uh, well, a uh, thing about that is actually... Shh. Listen. That's it. I hear it. <sighs> Good morning, Tina. What are you doing? I'm waiting here for the golden doll carriage to come. Golden what now? <laughs> What's so funny, you guys? 
There's, There's no, no such thing, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> of all the ridiculous things. It's real, you'll see. <laughs> Tina? Good evening, Bear. Thought you were a carriage. What does that mean? The doll carriage. It carries dolls. Sounds fun. Have you checked its schedule? Maybe it only runs Wednesdays or something. Those are Bear's bike tracks? And those are the carriage tracks? That's suspicious. It can't be, because bears are going there, and that one's there. <laughs> still waiting on your magic bus thing? Can't believe you still think this is real. It is real. Why would there be a stop and see there's tracks? Huh? Uh, that's from Bear's bicycle. That's right. I remember. From, from when we gave him Bear and his tire. <laughs> Good times. Walk back home with us, Tina. It's getting dark. I guess there's no carriage, and my doll's gone for good. Beep, beep. Hey, what's that weird sound? Whoa! A carriage. Whoa! Whoa. Oi! The Lost Doll Express awaits. If you please, m'lady. Ah. Sorry, Tina. I made all that carriage stuff up before. That's all right, Tony. It did come after all. This is great. Welcome to Lost Doll Express. Next stop is Cookie Village and other things. Beep beep! <sighs> Should have just installed a real horn. Here, I'll help. Mushka! Tony, it's her! We found her! Mushka, I'm so happy we found you. Let's, Let's ride. ride. What can the surprise be? Is it big? Is it playable? You're about to find out. Ta-da! Wow! Tony, is that a car? <laughs> this is a children's electric car. Right this way. Tina, put the safety belt on. What for? You have to. It's the rules. Come on, Tony. Let's ride already. <laughs> what happened, Tony? The car broke down. Good thing I grabbed the manual. Cars are a higher risk transportation method. Read the manual before attempting repair. You're going to read that whole book, Tony? That'll take a long time. It's really important. Open the car hood. Okay. <sighs> Don't kick rocks. That could be dangerous. <sighs> Tony, what if we fix it ourselves? We shouldn't, Tina. We need to follow the rules. Forget the rules. I've heard that phrase somewhere before. Who needs rules anyway? Maybe that's not a good idea. It's not a pen washing machine after all. Come on now, my lovely. Wash our dishes for us. Please. It did. Remember when Mouse gave you vitamins and said to take two a day? What did you do? 
But we mixed the medicines around, and now Mouse won't be able to find the right ones for Bear! What are we supposed to do now? Not to mention, my elbow still hurts. Maybe you just need a couple more vitamins. <sighs> no. I'm pretty sure in medicine, less is more. Bear getting the wrong medicine could be dangerous. Come on, you should fess up to Mouse. Um, I'm scared. Mouse is gonna be real mad at us. Ooh, maybe the vitamins will make you braver. You should try it. Huh. Yeah, not a bad idea, Tony. Oh. Oh. Tony, what happened to huh? you? Wait, no, uh, that's chicken uh, pox. Oh no, it's on you. Wow, uh. we both have chicken pox? No, big deal. Mouse fixed us right away. Nothing bad happened. Yeah? Well, one time something really bad happened. Now that's better. It's making noises. Oh, is it supposed to be that? the manual, the whole world would have been frozen forever. Fine then, Tony. Read your manual. I'm gonna walk. Cause it will take you forever and ever. I just wanted to help. And what does he do? Ow! Tony said not to kick rocks. Tony! 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 I'm sorry, you were right. I'll wait while you read your manual. It's fine. I've already fixed it. Already? What are we standing here for then? Let's ride. Tina's in. Tony, too. A not so still light. <laughs> What? Is this supposed to be me? Since when do I have 12 arms? That's only six at most. Well, fine. But you kept moving around. I know. Hm. How about we stop drawing portraits and instead do landscapes? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? A landscape just means we paint the outside. Why do we need to go to a tree to draw? Ugh. I remember how trees look. I'll imagine a tree, like that one. Or like that one. Any imaginary tree. That's not the point, Tina. These drawings aren't supposed to be imaginary. Landscapes are drawing what's real. Trees are the perfect thing to draw. They're still. They won't move around while you draw. It's great, huh? So which of these trees will be our subject? Maybe a pine tree or an oak. Or, huh? The apple tree. So, how does one start these? Uh, landscapes? It's simple. Just paint exactly what you see. Hmm. Ah. First you paint the branches, then the leaves and under those tasty apples. Make sure to get the bark stripey. Oh, what's that? What are you doing? What does it look like? I made a bear. What's a bear doing there? Nothing, he's having a good time. I mean, why did you draw a bear? He told me to draw what I see. And over there, I happen to see a bear. Ugh, am I supposed to draw the ice cream penguin too now? <laughs> Actually, both of my subjects are leaving. Now there's nobody to draw. That's why you should draw just nature and trees. They never go anywhere at all. They always stay in one place. You forgot that nature also has very bouncy rabbits. Look at them hop. Ball. Oh, look. There goes the rest of the apples. <laughs> Did you at least manage to draw the apples while they were still on? Yep. Now I have to erase them. 
What a pain to do. I'm not finished yet. I wasn't trying to look anyway. So now that the apples are inside the bear, how do what? I draw them? You don't. I told you, only draw what you see. I see rabbits having a really bad day. That's just heartbreaking. Focus on your painting. Hey, Bear's back. He brought the ice cream with him. I'm not even going to try drawing the ice cream. That'll disappear immediately. Huh? Now the penguin disappeared, too. This is turning out to be a very interesting subject. <laughs> Whatever Bear is doing, it looks like fun, right? Well, there they go. Now to focus. This tree just needs a few finishing touches on the branches and we'll be all... Hey, what's going on? Huh? Huh? You. All done. You're done? Show me. Well, it's not very realistic, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Not all landscapes can be as realistic as mine oh, is. On Earth. Where's the tree? Didn't have room for it. No big deal. Nature is tough. Next time we'll try Impressionism. Alarm clock. <laughs> I'm done with huh? the scooter. Tony, this is more important than the scooter. Come on! But, Tina, I can't just put one thing aside and start on something else. Well, you can at least try. I do it all the time. So? What's it say? That you should go for a stroll while I'm working. Come on, Tony. Time is going backwards. That's nice. I'll get more done that way. Oh, Tony, why are you behaving so childishly? And there we go. So, where's this alarm clock of yours? Oh! <laughs> Where 
Whatever can it be? Oh, there! Not there either. Oh, well, that's it. It's lost. No, there won't be any fairies in the woods. Or any <laughs> things, Tina, then they'll keep doing what they're supposed to do. I'm sorry, Alarm Clock. I won't ever drop you again. I'll look after you and feed you tasty tidbits. <laughs> the the wildflower! Hmm. Now, where could they be? I don't understand. How could this happen to me? Mouse! Mouse! Fox is gone and gotten sick on us. What brings you in today? Well, everything's just so boring. I just... I wish there was something to make me go, wow! I don't know what. <sighs> well, well. Mouse, can we save her? Or is it too late? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Foxy has an acute form of sadness. We'll brew her up some medicinal uh, herbs, and she'll be as good as new. Uh. Mm -hmm. huh? Mouse, are you okay? You spilled everything. Oh no, Tina, Tony. I don't know how it happened, but I, I lost my glasses, and I can barely see without them. How are you going to treat Boxy, then? <sighs> if I have your help... Of course you do. Tony's in. Tina, too. <gasps> <sighs> Tina, you can gather some medicinal herbs. There's a drawing of them in here. Tony, you can help me find my glasses. Who's that glasses-finding hero? Tony, the detective hippo. The losses we've suffered. My good mood is missing, and so are Mouse's glasses. Mouse, think back. Where was the last place you saw your glasses? Hmm. The last place where I saw them was on my nose. Uh huh. Well, they're not here anymore. Better investigate. <sighs> Hang in there, Foxy. Tina's coming to the rescue. All right. Which one of you is the medicinalist? A cheese plate? Hey, this book is about food! Mouse got it mixed up! How am I supposed to know what to pick now? Whatever! I'll figure it out by myself. Oh. Mouse, where do you usually put your glasses when you take them off? On the table! Strange. It's empty now. As empty as my heart. Better mm -hmm. investigate. Mm -hmm. Well, this must be some kind of boring blossom. It will make Foxy even worse. Ow! That must be a pick-me-not. It's not medicinal at all. The medicinalist herb must be the prettiest one, too. Mm -mm. Just what Foxy needs. The investigation has hit a dead end. Well said, well said. All of life is a dead end. Ta da! Who ordered the medicinal herbs? <laughs> That one in the kitchen and the bathroom. What are they called? Wildflowers. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Mouse. Thank you, Tony. La la la! It's like I'm living in color again. Eureka! The investigation is a success. But Tina, that's not a medicinal herb at all. But it looks like Foxy's better. <laughs> hmm. I guess beauty is a kind of medicine.
Jackson, too. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tony. I wouldn't have been able to see it without you. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty. Heads up. Come on. Here you go. Yaha! Whoops. I've got this. Balloon, come back. Elephants aren't afraid of a little thorn bush. Where'd you go, Tina? Hippos aren't afraid of thorns. Ouch! Either. Oh! Oh no, help me! Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? Popping our balloon was so naughty. You're a very bad thorny plant. No, Tina, she doesn't know better. She just needs to be taught good manners. Oh, really? Very nice to meet you. There, your turn. Introduce yourself. Go on. Happy to meet you. Uh, Planty? Now that we've introduced ourselves, what's next? Next, we should teach her everything we know. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Energy is stored in electrons. Only plant cells have a cell wall. They also have chlorophyll. Oh. Hmm? Planty, try and behave yourself. Oh. I know what's wrong. Planty thinks this is boring. She needs hobbies. <clears throat> Planty, look. Maybe one day you can do this. Give it a try. Wendy, I'm done. It's hopeless trying to teach a thorny plant manners. You know, I was thinking about it. Maybe she doesn't need to be taught. But what happens when she grows up? Plant D will still be our favorite little plant. Morning, everyone. Rise and shine. Whoa, is that a... Looks like we raised her well after all, right? Tina, are we sure about this? One of her mixed upbringings sets her apart. I'm not worried at all. Planty knows what makes her special. Over your way, miss. Thank you, Sir Gentle Hippo. Ugh. Oh, wow. Now they're all fancy. Just like our little plant. We raised her to be a good role model. Good, good job, job, Planty. Thank you, Planty. Oh, my Planty. I'm super extra proud. See you later. New Heights. Team Barry Forward takes the ball. The crowd is waiting with bated breath. He shoots. He scores! Team Bear wins again. We'll see about that. He scores! You were better off playing later on, after you grow a little. That'll take ages. We want to play now. Taking ages won't do. We're gonna grow you up today. 
Tina, is it? Tony, too? Okay, let's see. Tina, there's no way to grow taller in one day. There's tons of ways. Like... Like... Washing them. First, we wash you. <laughs> now we dry you. Wait, stop! Let us do it. <laughs> All right. I want to see you growing. No slacking off. I can't grow anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there must be another way. <gasps> A less slippery one. Okay. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> Wow, are you growing? Seems like I am. Then I must be too. I call growing too. Huh. Mm -mm. Look, I'm growing again. Can you tell? Stick me out. Tony, do you have any pies? Mm. So that's what your plan is? Exactly. Stretching them out from the inside. Round one. Tina, that's not what science says. No one can grow like that. I'm growing sideways, but upwards, not so much. All right then, Tony. What does science say? Science? It says to take vitamins and exercise. Do a little each day. For ages? No thanks. We're gonna speed things up. I told you, you can't grow taller in one day. And too many vitamins is bad for you. But I promised the piglets I'd grow them today. And I'll do it! Bear bypasses the enemy team players. He shoots, he scores! The crowd goes wild. Say hello to the new player, Bear. Where are the others? They're even taller. They couldn't make it out of the house. Right. We're too short to be playing basketball. Let's just go grow the natural way. Aww. Wait, I know. Huh? Height doesn't matter. The main thing is wanting to play. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Team Piglet brushes in. A string of passes. <gasps> Just waiting for my help. Yeah, Tina. Why don't you go help someone else for now? I need to wash off some things here. Great idea! Ah, I have so much helping energy today. Hello? Anyone need any help or support? <laughs> Ready or not, Tina's coming to help. Get ready for a world record. One, two, uh, 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 what is that? Your friend Tina's support services is at your service. We'd appreciate your feedback. Wait, 
disqualified. We'd appreciate your feedback. Next time, warn me when you're coming to help. That way I can at least put on a bathing suit. But... Huh. Why did I even bother helping them? Not even a thank you. Farmer in the Dell. The farmer in the Dell. Hi, hold the dairy. Oh, the farmer in the Dell. Rabbit! Of course! That's who always needs help. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> the farmer in the dell! The farmer in the dell! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Outrageous! Your friend Tina Help and Support Services. We'd appreciate your feedback. To harvest the carrots. That's not so bad, is it? Tina, it would have been a lot better if you waited for the carrots to grow first. Tina, help has to be useful and come at the right time. Otherwise, it just makes things worse. I was trying so hard to help. Did I really just make things worse? Don't be sad, Tina. Next time, you should just ask how to help. Then everything will turn out great. Tina! Tina? Help and support services? Is that you? I don't even know anymore. I really need some support. Really? Tony, are you with me? Tina's in Tony's too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to learn how to climb trees? No. Ah! Do you want to build a pyramid out of benches? No. So what help do you need? I need your support so I can pick apples. Uh. Is that it? Yep. Thank you so much, Tina. You really helped me out. Woohoo! Your friend Tina Help and Support Services. Call us if you need help. Treasure Hunters! No, I lost another game. Oh man, not just that. You lost another piece. Not to worry, I'll find it. Oh, hi, little sneaky piece. It's not like I want to lose each time, but at least I don't get lost under stuff. Yay! I've never seen that tiny door before. Huh? Neither have I. That's weird. Achoo! Whoa. What on earth is this? It's a map. A key, too. You think that Granny left us a treasure? I think we should just put it back. Anyway, it's probably all dusty. No oh. way, Tony. Can't pass up a treasure. Wonder what kind of treasure it is. Maybe a magic wand? I'm pretty sure wands aren't real. Look, I see a rope bridge. Would that rope bridge even hold us? Only one way to find out. Wait, we shouldn't cross that. You know what we should do instead? Go and play checkers. Don't be scared. Oh, hey, Tony, this thing is rocking. Oh, this was a bad idea. Hang on, okay? 
Treasure is a magic picnic blanket. We'll just say abracadabra, and the tea and cookies will magically appear. Why would we need that? A backpack works fine. And abracadabra, here's your tea. Ah. Here, donuts too. Tony, it's you who has the magic. X marks the spot, and this is the spot. All right. Oh man, we forgot to bring a shovel. What will we do now? Wow, Tony, you plan for everything. I'll go and dig it up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. Hope it's a flying carpet. We'll hop right on and be home in a split second. What are those things? Looks like money. Except it's weird. I don't think it'll buy us ice cream. I guess this treasure's useless, huh? Well, not quite. I bet we can use these. Give you one guess how. Still would have liked the magic carpet. I can't believe it. You won. That's the first game I've ever won. Seems these things really are magical checker pieces. I guess they are. Thanks a lot, Granny. Plum out of luck. <laughs> I grew those myself. You did? But how? My tree! They grow from pits. What? So if I bury this, it becomes a tree? That's right. First thing, you dig a deep hole down and put the stone inside. Got it. <laughs> and be sure to water your tree every day. Here we are. Here's your living room, and over here is your nice, cozy little plum pit bedroom. Sleep tight, future plum tree. Hmm. Growing one tiny bit. Not fair. 
me in. That's cool. Want to play soccer? I'm goalie. I don't have time. Sorry. I have to go feed my plum seed. Feed it? Hmm. Hi, plum seed. You okay? Are you sprouting at all down there? I'm sure you grow a bit. I just have to check. Maybe you just don't like juice. It just doesn't make any sense. Cherry juice makes elephants grow up big. But not plums? Does Tony have some magic growing trick I don't know about? Is it something I said? Or are you just not interested? Huh? Ta-da! Your plum grew so much, but not mine. I grew it a lovely house. I gave her my favorite and my best snacks. But no, it was all a waste of time. It would never grow. Tina, plants don't need all that stuff. They just want sun and water. Really, just leave it alone. Plant it in the ground and wait. That's all? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my, got you. Ooh, it's your plum. It's grown! Hooray! <gasps> I don't want to disturb her growing. <laughs> Fix it, Tina. Use our manual for the hippo made iron. Aha, troubleshooting. First, make sure to check the heating element as well as the power source. Okay. Ugh, this is taking a million years. I'll fix it. Tina, stop! Cut it out. You'll make it ruined or broken more. Huh? Ah, uh, it was just a battery. I can fix anything. Oh. Got something broken? Give it to Tina. I guess I'll fix that first. I'll fix that. Ice cream machine won't get cold? Uh -huh. Tina the expert will fix this faster than you can say ice cream. Let's see here. Don't worry, I'll fix it soon. I just need to keep trying new things. Let me fix it, Penguin. You're trying to help me, so let me. Now that's better. It's making noises. Uh, is it supposed to do that? Uh, uh, all good. I can easily fix this. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just some winter in the summer. It's okay. There's no 
time for that. We need a manual to unfreeze the world. <gasps> I guess we can do things your way. Can it be? The world is saved! Let it melt! <laughs> Just one last turn here, all done. Huh? Aw, oh, man, I totally followed the manual. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. See, it's purple. Nice, I guess you did fix it. <laughs> You're the expert. <laughs>